Hi guys, this is Neha and welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. So now, let me ask you one question. Can you name a magician who put metal into your mouth and pulls coin out of your pocket? Any guesses? In today's time, this magician is known as a dentist. We know that a genuine smile comes from heart, but a healthy smile needs a dental care. And there are two people who are actually responsible for our dental care. One is we ourselves and the other one who plays a major role is a dentist. Now just think once that if we are giving such responsibility in someone's hand other than us, then it is obvious that person should be an expert in this field and should have best knowledge about it. And for the best knowledge, he or she must have done a good course. So let's talk about that course today and that one course is Master in Dental Surgery. If you are one interested to be a part of someone's smile, then this video is going to be very helpful to you. In this video, I'm going to tell you about every single aspect of Master of Dental Surgery course. Like what is Master of Dental Surgery course? What are the eligibility conditions to do Master of Dental Surgery? Which qualities are required? to do Master of Dental Surgery? What are the specializations in Master of Dental Surgery? Its labors, specializations, admission process, course fee, career prospects, average fee. So keep watching this video till the end. Now let me first tell you what Master of Dental Surgery is. MDS is a postgraduate course in different disciplines of dentistry. Dental science or dental surgery is a branch of the medical sciences which deals with dental and oral health. This course imparts the knowledge and the skills to solve these dental and oral health problems which are faced by most of the human population. This course is completed over a duration of three years. However, there is a provision of two years MDS course for candidates who have passed postgraduate diploma course recognized by Dental Council of India of the duration of two years in a particular speciality. What is the eligibility to do Master of Dental Surgery? The minimum qualification for this course is Bachelor of Dental Surgery or an equivalent qualification recognized by Dental Council of India. Candidates not possessing a recognized dental qualification for the above purpose should secure the prior approval of his qualification by the Dental Council of India before he can be admitted to MDS course of any university in India. Foreign nationals seeking admission for the postgraduate course in various institutes must procure temporary registration by Dental Council of India for the duration of the postgraduate training restricted to the dental college to which he or she is admitted. Minimum age limit for doing this course is 21 years for the most of the colleges. A candidate should be physically fit to undergo the MDS course and should not suffer from any contagious disease. Which qualities are required to do Master of Dental Surgery? To do Master of Dental Surgery course successfully, you must have certain qualities like ability to work under critical situations, sharp memory and learning skills, excellent communication and interpersonal skills, patience and preservance to work for long hours, medical writing skills, empathetic, counseling and caring skills, and desire to gain knowledge and excel in the field. What are the specialization of Master of Dental Surgery? Some of the specialization of Master of Dental Surgery are prosthodontics, periodontics, orthodontics, oral and maxillofacial surgery, operative dentistry, pedodontics and preventive dentistry, conservative endodontics and aesthetic dentistry, periodontology and oral implementology, and oral medicine and radiology. What is the syllabus of Master of Dental Surgery? In Master of Dental Surgery, you study subjects like Applied Basic Sciences, Maxillofacial Surgery, Diagnosis, Treatment, Preventive, Periodontology and Implantology, Endodontics, 
oral pathology, oral microbiology, and forensic odontology, recent advances in oral pathology, and biomechanic and various orthodontic tissue changes, techniques, and treatment planning, etc. Along with these subjects, candidates go through didactic lectures, seminars, and demonstrations. Now you will be thinking how to get admission in Master of Dental Surgery. To get admission in Master of Dental Surgery course, you first have to complete 12th class with Physics, Chemistry and Biology as main subjects. Then candidates need to pass an entrance exam to secure their place for Bachelor of Dental Surgery course. The most common entrance exam for the same is NEET UG exam. Once you have obtained your BDS degree, you are eligible to take NEET PG exam or other MDS entrance exam taken by various dental colleges. You need to get good ranks in any of the Master of Dental Surgery entrance exam to get admission in some of the finest dental colleges to do your MBS course. Some of the MDS entrance exam that you can take to get admission in Master of Dental Surgery are NEET MDS, NIMS entrance exam and AIMS PG entrance exam. Which are the top institutes for Master of Dental Surgery course? Some of the top government dental colleges in India are Mulana Azad Institute of Dental Sciences, New Delhi All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi Army College of Dental Sciences, Andhra Pradesh and Baba Farid University of Health Sciences, Punjab Whereas some of the top private dental colleges in which you can think of getting admission are Amrita School of Dentistry, Kerala MS Ramaya Dental College, Karnataka Adhipara Shakti Dental College, Tamil Nadu and Our Dental College, Jharkhand What is the fee that you have to pay for MDS course? For MDS, one may have to pay as low as Rs. 1,50,000 per annum in government institute and as high as Rs. 3,50,000 per annum in private institute what are the career prospects after Master of Dental Surgery course? The candidates who have Master degree in Dental Surgery have a good scope both in terms of higher studies as well as in acquiring an immediate job. After this course, interested students can further continue research in the same specialization as in their Master's degree and can do PhD in related subjects. After MDS, you can start up your own private clinic or a dental lab, work in government or private institutes, work as a teacher in some reputed colleges, work in research and advisory departments of pharmaceutical companies, work as a dental consultant to models, artists and well-known figures, etc. Candidates undergoing dentistry courses can also get worthwhile placements in overseas dental hospitals treatment centers and nursing homes. MDS degree holders have a vast scope in foreign countries where the pay scale will also be much higher than the home country. What is the average salary of a Master of Dental Surgery degree holder? After completing MDS, one can get something between Rs. 40,000 to Rs. 50,000 per month in government sector along with various perks and remunerations. And Rs 50,000 to Rs 70,000 per month in private sector. With some experience and expertise, one can get as high as Rs 1,50,000 per month. Those who are successful in establishing their own dental clinic can earn in lakhs too. So now we can say in the present scenario, when everybody is aware to take care of his or her teeth, there is a vast scope for dental surgeons and MDS course is worth doing. That's all from this video guys. I hope you find this video informative. For more such videos, subscribe Target Study YouTube channel. And to get regular notifications, hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.